Hi everyone, Alex here, and today we will be building the Walther's Scene Master two axle truck crane. Well, let's get right into this video. Alright, so like the intro suggested, we are going to be building this uh, truck crane. Uh, I'd assume it'd be a smaller kit compared to the UPS one, which I am correct. I'm glad that I'm correct, because that one drained me a lot. It was fun, but it took a lot of time and effort, so... Oh yeah, and if you haven't seen that, go, go check it out. That'd be greatly appreciated. Well, Alright. So, first off, let's get the instructions out. Oh, this one doesn't have labeled pieces. Yay! Alright. Alright, so now that we have that done, um, this looks pretty complicated, not gonna lie. Top left corner, you already got a lot of pieces going on. It's only 14, 18, my bad, but still a lot of small pieces and duplicates. You guys heard the news about MTH uh, closing so yeah that's pretty fun I'm glad I got the big boy when I did they're gonna be closing at uh, I think summer of 2021 um, it's pretty sad cuz they make great quality trains just all around amazing effort things like that um, and then that leaves Lionel with um, no other really big competitors, I guess, in the O-scale area. Um, so, Stay tuned for more! Wow! I'm gonna use the tweezers because we can. Oh, of course, it's another thing. It just snaps in. Of course, why wouldn't it be? Who knows? Alright, now... I'll see you guys in the next clip, because these are ball bearings, and ball bearings take forever to dry, and it's also got some string in it. See you guys then! Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. Um, yeah, I was pretty sad when I heard the news, because the big boy that I have, um, is MTH. That's amazing quality, and then I also have some walkie road cars that I'll probably have to review now, because they're MTH, and... Just the amount of detail that they put into things is outstanding. So I believe I figured it out, but I'm going to wait to glue this part on until the end because what I think you have to do is this is supposed to be held up like this when you put on the actual uh, body of the crane. So that's why this is here and then so it doesn't fall down. So I'm just going to do everything the way it should be, but minus gluing that on. So the next part we have to do is number 16. Uh, which goes right here. This glue is going to be the death of me. Or my hand, at least. So, 16 is, um, uh, air cleaner. This cute little guy. <laughs> Just goes in right there like that. 
Um, next is 17, which is the boom lock for the crane. So I think that's so it doesn't turn too far, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? Not me. Um, Alright, so this just goes like that. I didn't want to put it in backwards. And then 18, which is the mounting points for the boom or the crane. So that just goes like that. Alright, next I will Alright, I will see you after I get the next pieces. Alright everyone, I cut out the next parts for the next step, so let's start building it. skipped a few parts of me assembling things because it was all boring so yeah I have a few pieces assembled well most of them assembled actually that will go together on the main body so yeah um it wasn't that much it was maybe like 10 steps so I saved a lot of it for now for the actual video so yeah all right guys we are back um got this part on finally so um now we have to do the next pieces um actually only next piece not pieces which is this it just sits on here um yeah just like that so i will glue that in Hi everyone, so, um, I put all the final pieces together, um, I attached the, the boom to the crane, the cab to the crane, and then I attached the hook, and now all the rope is in place, I was just finished tying it off. Um, so for this model, I decided to do, um, like, driving mode, I guess you could say, um, I did not do stationary mode, um, you can do that, they added... Um, these, oh god, there's stuff on it. They, they added, um, over here, they added supports that you can add to them. It comes with eight, yeah, eight, so four different size, or two different sizes of four. So, um, if you do get this kit, you can have it however you like. There's also a second, uh, boom option, which I did not do. Um, I just liked this one better. Um, so yeah, this is the finished piece. I'm probably gonna weather it once I get the supplies needed for weathering, which I currently do not have. Um, it's a pretty good kit, um, and it actually has a lot of functions to it. So the axles turn, um, the, the boom goes up and down and side to side, and, um, it can extend outwards, uh, triple this length. Um, depending on the amount of string you put in it, that is. And, um, it swings around. Um, yeah, it's a pretty nice piece for your layout, uh, especially if you are doing construction areas, or repair, tearing down buildings, things like that. We're probably gonna have a construction scene on our layout. Um, then you will see it there. So, probably gonna wrap up the video here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry that, um, I didn't have that much of actually putting it together. It just took a long time, and it was a big strain. So, yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the vid next video. Bye.